How's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video with the House Money Investing Channel. In today's video, we're going to go over um, some gains I made in cryptocurrency. Uh, you know, Bitcoin, Litecoin, things of that nature. Uh, and I also got a few uh, great stock picks for you guys that I added to my watch list. As well as some uh, reoccurring stocks that I uh, put back on my watch list. You know, for the swing trades. So we'll jump right into it. As you can see here, this is Stash uh, Cash App, and this is a uh, Bitcoin. Uh, this here is an initial investment of three hundred and twenty-seven dollars over uh, about the last. Let me see, seven. Eight. Over the last nine months, I've invested three hundred twenty-seven dollars into uh, Cash App Bitcoin, and as you can see, um, I'm almost up a whole thousand dollars so i'm up huge uh bitcoins ran up all the way up to 25 grand so you can imagine the uh, gains i'm having here then we have the bitcoin in the etoro e app uh my initial investment was 47,000. i'm sorry 47 dollars uh i'm up 104 percent so i've gained 49 dollars i believe i got in uh, here on this day, when it was around eleven thousand dollars, as you can see here at the top, it's a, it's a little over twenty four at the time. And then this is the Bitcoin out of the Robinhood. As you can see, my average cost is eleven grand. It's valued at two thirty six. I got a total return of one twenty seven, so I'm up one hundred and sixteen point eighty eight percent. Um, I don't even have a, you know. I barely have any Bitcoin. It's 0 .009 of a coin. But as you can see, I'm up a major amount. So I've invested probably about, what, 99 bucks or so? Well, one I'm sorry, 109 about 109 And it's worth 236 As you can see at the bottom on the history, back in November, I bought $18 worth. So this is something I add about $18 every three months to. And this is Bitcoin again on the second slide. Uh, it went from up 127 to up 128, up 117%. These are just has these are just the growth of it, you know, throughout the day. Then the uh, Cash App went from 313 to 319, so it's steady going up. Uh, back to the Robinhood, now it's up 121%, it's up 133. Then we have Litecoin. I have 1.88 coins on Litecoin. Average cost is $51. <clears throat> uh, it's only 5% of the portfolio. Uh, both Bitcoin and Litecoin are under 6% of the portfolio. You want to try to keep everything under 10% uh, to keep your uh, risk tolerance low. As you see on Litecoin, I'm up a whopping 149.71%. Uh, this is valued at $241. And it's up $144. So my investment is about what $97 or so and now it's worth $241. As you can see at the bottom I got a market buy of uh, $9 so this is something I put $9 into every three months. As you can see the market's at the bottom I was kind of swing trading uh, crypto. I stopped doing it. Bitcoin was the only thing that was very uh, that was profitable and it's so volatile it's hard to swing trade it you know. It probably would be a better day trade but I don't day trade so. You know, I stopped the swing trade. I don't honestly don't know if I was losing or making money, but you know, it just didn't feel right because the price is so volatile. And you know, I don't, I, I, I really don't time my swing trades. I just do it as I go. You know, if it's time to swing trade, I swing trade it. If it's not, I don't. You know, and it might just swing trade it at a bad time, and then I'm at a loss. So I don't do it anymore. Now the cash at Bitcoin is up to three forty six. Just remember, it started at 316 at the beginning of the day. Uh, this one here is up $51 now. So it's up another $2. It's up 108%. Um, as you can see at the very bottom, I got a profit of $34. Total equity is 128 I do have some uh, T-Ron uh, coins, but they're not doing so hot. So that's why, um, you know, I'm only up because I'm, about, I'm about, down about $17 in that coin. 
Then we have my Robin Hood portfolio. I got over $4,500 in this portfolio. It's up a nice percentage, $26.88. So I've made $258 over the last year, which is technically over the last six months because I started this uh, house money investment challenge in uh, June where I deploy capital into the market uh, over a 30 to 90 day spam. Then I withdraw my principal that I put in, leaving just the gains inside the market. So as you can see, it's working out very well for me. I'm obviously picking some good stocks because I'm up, you know. Uh, buying power is 480, so I still have another $480 to swing trade for the rest of this month. Um, I swing my last swing trade last in November, and I'm up in the positive. I have uh, over $12,500 in free stock um, that I've swing traded, you know, from leaving gains in the market. I usually swing trade anywhere from fourteen thousand to twenty-eight thousand dollars over a one to three month period. So I've done that for six months. I've accumulated over twelve thousand five hundred dollars. Doing back to Litecoin now. It's up to one forty-eight, up one hundred fifty-four percent, up one hundred fifty-three percent. Then we have a nice pick here. This is a stock pick, guys. Looking to it. ticker symbol CP this is Can Canadian Pacific Railroad Railway so this is one of the major uh, railroad companies out there in Canada and this thing is going to uh, you know it's going to do really very 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 well actually on the last trading day it was actually up about three bucks And this would be my first time swing trading uh, this position. It was up like 1.5% on the week, by the way. Uh, they do pay a dividend yield of 74%, 0.74%. Large company, $46 billion market cap. And it's around its all-time highs. 28 analysts got it at a 64% buy rating. Uh, the CEO, he worked with uh, legendary operator Hunter Harrison. He has pushed to instill precision railroad principles into CP's culture, and that disciplined operating mindset likely won't disappear, you know, anytime soon. Thanks to uh, improved network efficiency and service in recent years, CP's intermodial franchise is much better positioned to capitalize on long-term growth opportunities. Uh, CP's prob probability improvement has been nothing short of impressive over the years. The rail ranked among the worst margin performers in 2012, but leapfrog to one of the best in 2019. So over the past seven years, this company has really turned it around. Uh, EPS has been dropping, of course, due to the pandemic. Um, it did start going back up in the third quarter. They didn't meet their EPS, but it did start going up. And I mean, their earnings per share is, you know, around $3.15, which is great. This will give you exposure to industrials, transportation, and construction services. Basically, uh, Canadian Pacific Railroad, they engage in the provision of railroad service. It offers rail and intermodal transportation services. It also transfers bulk commodities, merchandise, freight, and intermodal traffic. This company's been around since 1881. So a long uh, company here. Uh, pays a little bit of dividend. They really turned it around. They're profitable. So take a look at guys. Look at their balance sheet. Uh, look at their fundamentals. When you're looking at that balance sheet, look at you know total assets, and uh, also look at the assets after the deductions of the liabilities. Then we have uh, the portfolio again. Now it's up 959, 26 percent. Still over 4,500 dollars in the past six months. Then we have RMG. This is a company that I already uh, swing traded this month. I added it back to the list. Of course, if you know about RMG, ran up 62% last year. Um, extremely high P ratio, 2,500. That shows you that this company is skyrocketing. Um, $977 million market cap. Uh, it's close to its all times highs. Um, New York company. And this is a blank check company. So, um, I've swing traded once, swing, swing trading it twice. I added it right back 
you know, once this merger comes through, this thing's gonna go up even more, guys. So be on the lookout for RMG. Then we got ARCT. Uh, this is a holding company. It was down a little bit last week, not too much. This thing's ran up from eight dollars to ninety-seven dollars in the past year. Uh, two and a half billion dollar market cap. This thing still uh, actually has a lot of growth in it. Um, the all-time high is one twenty-nine. It's sitting at twenty ninety-seven dollars. So uh, a lot of growth. Uh, looking over ten analyst ratings is a hundred percent buy. Uh, EPS hasn't done so great. It was growing. Well, actually, they were losing money, but they were losing less money than they should have. Of course, trying to grow the business. So, uh, you know, just take that into account. And it's a pharmaceutical company. They're very, very volatile. Uh, this company engages in the research and development of medical applications for uh, nuclear asset-focused technology. The firm develops RNA therapeutics, which focuses on the treatment of liver and respiratory diseases. Its pipelines include lunar uh, OTC and lunar CF so basically they're you know dealing with respiratory diseases you know which is a big hype you know here in in this time because of the uh, CV virus you know it's affecting people's respiratory systems so this pharmaceutical company you know of course they made money during this time because of their research and they're going to should continue to do that as well so just take a look, quick look into that one then we got logi this is logic logitech uh last week they were down just a hair not too bad this company does pay a dividend of 0.88 percent 15 dollar 15 billion dollar market cap uh probably you know has a little bit of room to run up 13 analysts got it as a buy rating uh 46% buy, 40% hold. Uh, EPS in quarter, you know, four of 2020, and expected in quarter uh, one and two of 2021 20, is going to kill it. So you know, they're looking to double their EPS up from quarter one to quarter two. So being in this play, you know, anywhere from you know January to March, I should make a nice return on this play. Uh, due to earnings uh, this is a hardware sector of the market company out of Switzerland uh, this is a holding company which engages in design manufacturing and marketing of uh, for PCs tablets and other digital platforms it offers headsets you know speakers mice keyboards and webcams the firm's brand includes Logitech Jaybird Ultimate Ears Logi G Astro Gaming uh, Blue Headphones um i've heard of this company i don't know if you know you're into computers i'm not even into computers and i know the logitech brand i know the webcams and stuff like that um so yeah uh with a lot of things going online uh, like e-commerce people work from home people teaching school from home and all this other crazy stuff due to the pandemic a lot of these people won't go back to really go back to work the way they used to be because uh, i mean jobs are going to save money on like you know office building space and things of that nature plus the cv is gone there's a new strand out so we never know what's going to happen but i do know logitech is going to make a profit the next two quarters you know due from the pandemic and the you know due from the products that they offer so definitely a great swing trade here to build a position in then we got zi zoom information uh, this company is up, you know, four, almost five percent last week. Uh, Seven billion dollar market cap. This thing has a lot of room to grow. Uh, the 52 we high, sixty four dollars. It's currently sitting at forty four dollars. Uh, Sixteen analyst ratings. Uh, Sixty three percent got as a buy. Uh, they killed EPS in quarter two, quarter three. Uh, you know, so they're steady being uh, more profitable, making more revenue. And this is a software company out of Washington. Uh, it operates as a holding company which provides cloud-based platform that offers information on organizations and professionals for sales and marketing teams. It offers sales leadership, sales development, marketing and demand generation, sales and marketing operations, and recruiting. Um, so yeah, the cloud-based companies are really, really popping. You know, you got a lot of them out there. I already own a lot of them. They're all doing pretty well for me. Uh, 
so I came across Zoom Info, and it's just an out, another cloud-based company I want to hop into. You know, like I said with the last stock, anything to do with online and you know pharmaceuticals, anything related to the CV right now is popping, especially like recession-proof, uh, you know, stocks and that nature. So we're gonna give it a shot, guys. Then we got CA, CI. This is a nice company as well. They do not pay a dividend. Uh, market cap's over $6 billion. They're about $42 off their 52-week uh, high. 14 analysts got it as a 79% buy rating. Um, they've been killing EPS. They're expected to kill EPS in quarter one. Um, this is a business located out of Virginia. It engages in the provision of information solutions and services in support of national security missions and government transformation for intelligent defense and federal civil customers. It operates through the domestic operations and international operations segments. Uh, the dom domestic segment offers information and solution services to the U.S. federal government agencies, state and local governments, and commercial enterprises to uh, different make to different market areas, basically including uh, business systems, uh, command and control, communications, cybersecurity. Enterprise informational uh, technology, IT, health intelligence services, investigation and uh, litigation support, logistics and material readiness, and surveillance, and uh, the uh, international operations basically is pretty much the same. They do uh, IT services and proprietary data uh, and software products, products serving commercial and government customers. So they're into cybersecurity. Uh, Cybersecurity is really big right now. There's a lot of scamming and you know all this stuff going on, hacking, especially with a lot of the stuff, uh, you know, you know the online stuff just booming that much more. So definitely a nice play. I already own a pretty good amount of cyber companies. I'm steady trying to build up in this sector, looking for newer, uh, you know, different companies that I don't own that I can build up on, you know, in the sector because it's a sector I believe it's going to pop. Uh, then we got TW. All you. This is a company that I've already swing traded before. I'm not 100% sure if I own any of it. Uh, it was up 10% last week. And look, guys, I own like, you know, on Robin alone over 500 stocks. And um, you know, I have like eight to ten brokers. So sometimes it's kind of hard to remember if it's not a, a a position that just stuck out of my head. You know, I'll just totally forget about it. And you know, a lot of people say it's too diversified. You can't keep up with the balance sheets. Blah blah blah. Um, but when I swing trade it, I'm looking at that company for the for in the mindset of you know the next one to three months. So once I swing trade it and get that profit from that company, and I leave those gains in the market, you know I take my principal out, so I'm no longer worried about taking a loss because I, I can't take a loss because I technically have nothing invested in this company. So whatever gains I have, I can let those gains ride out for decades, and I only have to look back at the company, you know, because the money I got into it is basically free money. Now, um, I do keep up with the stock news and everything like that. So if something happens with one of these companies, I'm definitely going to see it. And if I need to pull out, I'll pull out. Like, for example, Hertz. Uh, I did a swing trade on Hertz. I heard about the bankruptcy. And I actually left it in a little bit longer. And I made a nice profit off of Hertz, guys. Because if, as if you know, when it hit the bankruptcy, the stock ran up. People just started buying it because of the price. You know, kind of blindly not knowing what they were doing, I guess. And, you know, as soon as I seen that happen, I sold out of it. So once again, I don't really have to keep up with all these companies. When I go to re ring swing trade them again, you know, then I'll look back at their uh, technical analysis. I'll look at, you know, their moving averages, their fundamentals, their balance sheets, and all that good stuff. You know, if I'm going to swing trade it for a second time. So let's jump back into it. This company here has over $3 billion market cap. And they're about seven dollars out there uh 52 week high 15 analysts got it as a buy hold it buy a buy rating of 67 percent they've been killing eps since the quarter uh since fourth quarter of 2019. this is a business located on maryland uh it engages in uh the provision of education technology for non-profit non colleges and universities it operates through the following segments of graduate program, 
alternative credential. The graduate program segment provides technology and services to nonprofit colleges and universities to enable the online delivery of degree programs. The, the alternative credential segment provides premium online and short courses and technical uh, skills based boot camps through relationships with nonprofit colleges and universities. So, if you know anything about you know colleges and that whole thing and student loans and I mean it's such a profitable business and then when you're doing nonprofits, you know people are, that are running these companies are getting these big 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 tax breaks and then you know people are fearing feeling charitable and you know they're helping people get degrees and they got a little boot camp set up you know for the nonprofit so definitely something that's gonna make money I mean that whole that whole industry is gonna make money so I'm gonna swing trade this and see what happens you got NTAP, which is a net app. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. We're going to take a quick break and look into my Robinhood real quick and see how it's doing at the moment. difficult uh technical difficulty and as you see over the past 24 after hours it's up 94 bucks that's due to crypto we'll look at my one year wow 976 i'm at the screenshot that it means bitcoin or something ran up let me check this out real quick Here's my top gainers uh, here in my Robinhood. You know, Clean Sparks up the most, twenty nine dollars. Let's go down here. Look at these uh, coins real quick. Whoa! Pass it up. Bitcoin is doing nice right now, guys. Up 143. As well as Litecoin. I don't know what's up with the Ethereum. It was up big and then it kind of went back down. All right, back in back to your regular uh, programming here. We got NetApp up three percent. Sorry, I just uh, had a notification about Bitcoin, so I had to check it out real quick. Uh. NetApp pays a nice dividend. Uh, my my sweet spot is two to four percent, two point nine two percent. Fourteen billion dollar company. Uh, just two dollars off their week uh, fifty two week high. You got twenty eight analyst ratings. Sixty eight percent as a hold, twenty one percent as a buy. So very uh, bullish there. In line uh, with Net NetApp's focus. Uh, cloud-based data management software uh, may be one of the most important uh, IT resources NetApp could develop into a crucial element of the million cloud ecosystem leading public and private cloud vendor partnerships uh, could shelter NetApp from declining or uh, permissive spending furthermore the company has uh, benefit alongside you know cloud-based workload growth NetApp's all flash array products are installed in missions critical places with the network as well as flash arrays uh, portfolio uh, NetApp has become stickier with the enterprise so another cloud-based company um, of course killing EPS during these times uh, expected to kill it you know uh, 2021 2022 the first two quarters so definitely right in my uh, swing trade time frame. So we're looking to make a profit there. Uh, this California-based company, of course, cloud-based. It's in a uh, software hardware, and they basically provide software systems and systems to manage and share data on data, data on uh, premises and private and public clouds world, worldwide. Uh, the company offers cloud data services including net app cloud volumes services for aws 
uh, net app could uh, cloud volumes for on tap net app cloud sync net app cloud secure net app cloud tearing and net out uh, sasa backup so they have a lot going on here they have so many sectors um, for their cloud data storage I mean it's just a lot so you know like I said earlier this thing they're basically putting them in a position for a no loss situation with what they got going on so definitely another uh, cloud company I'm jumping into here then we got good old Yelp <coughs> excuse me Yelp is something I've swing traded before and it's something I've done nicely on I'm up 38.33% on Yelp in my um, Robinhood account uh, I got in around 20 bucks $20 and 28 cents it's up to 28.05 uh, uh, most people know about Yelp it's like a review space where you can leave reviews like hey this place is good the food was good the service is terrible blah 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 if you want to go somewhere you look up the Yelp review you know you get other people's opinions and experiences on a set place you know before you take a dive into it if it's something you've never experienced before or if you own a business you know you want your Yelp reviews to be high so that when other people look at it they'll have a positive uh you know reaction influence a uh, positive um gesture about your company you know so doing great on Yelp. Added it back to the watch list. I'm gonna swing train it again this month. Trying to build up my position that I already have. They have over a two billion dollar market cap. Uh, they're about nine dollars off their, uh, you know, 52 week high. Basically, Yelp stock deserves a positive review. You know, expecting a reopen rebound. Uh, 22 analysts got it at an 18% buy. But at a 68% hold. Uh, they killed EPS the last two quarters. We'll see how it comes out in fourth quarters. California software company. Uh, I purchased this back on October 15th. So I swung trade it. September left the profits in. Back in uh, October. And they basically. Uh, are one of the stop local platforms. For consumers to discover. Connect and transact with local businesses of all sizes it operates through the following segment advertisements transactions and other services uh, advertisement segment uh, offers a range of free and paid advertising products to businesses of all sizes including uh, the ability to deliver targeted search advertising to large local audiences through website and mobile app the transaction segment comprises several different features and consumer interactive tools to fill facilitate uh, transactions between consumers and local businesses uh, other segments consist of revenue through subscription services licensing payments for access to Yelp data and other non advertisement non transactional arrangements so as you can see they have a lot going on you know through the advertisement space and you know for this data that these people are gonna these companies are gonna want you know they're gonna pay a hefty price so they're gonna keep making money and Yelp is one of the top uh, review websites that you can go to. So they're killing it out here. Then we have another one I added right back to the uh, watch list, which is MP Materials. Um, they were up 10% last week. This is something I started swing trading a couple days ago. I'm going to swing trade it again. Uh, it's a new, uh, it's a newer company, and they deal with rare, rare earth materials that are needed to uh, build batteries, like uh, lithium, uh, lithium batteries. And these batteries are used for like the EV vehicles and stuff like that. Renewable energy. It's a big craze, a big hype. You know, Biden's big on uh, renewable energy. Uh, you know, Tesla led the way, followed by NEO. You got charging stations like SBE, which is uh, uh, SBE, which is charge point. And then you got uh, Clean Spark. Uh, you got, you know, a array of EVs. So this company owns. I think China owns about 70% of this market. This company owns the, the other, like, they own, like, 20% more of the leftover, you know, for the United States. So they're dominating uh, this space for the United States. And the government, you know, has gave this company grants to be able to go out and get these materials because we can't let China just, you know, monopolize this space and take control 
of uh, you know all these materials being mined that you know we're both gonna need so we'll move on to the next one uh, LCA this is something I just swing traded uh, this is a SPAC company so I'm gonna swing trade it again this month this thing ran up 21% last week and this is a SPAC company so we'll give this another shot at something I, you know, I've been watching closely. I let the hype die down, jumped into it. So we'll see how it goes. You got good old Vanguard. I love Vanguard funds. This is the International Div Dividend Appreciation ETF. Uh, it does pay a, a solid dividend of 1.31%, $2 billion market cap. And it's close to its all-time highs. This thing doesn't fluctuate very much, guys. But it is, it's strictly just for dividends. It's not for growth. And it, it uh, tracks a market cap weighted index. Develop emerging market firms that have increased their annual dividends for seven or more consecutive years. Um, so it's going to be nothing but companies. They're not dividend aristocrats or dividend kings or like, nothing like that. But they're at least going to have seven years of consistent dividend payout. So jumping into the ETF, it's a guaranteed paycheck. It's a great way to save some money. It's a lot better than putting your money in a bank. It's not going to fluctuate. You're going to gain that nice 1% to 2% interest rate. So definitely a safe play to put your money. So take a look into that, guys. Then we got good old XL Fleet. This is something I just swing traded. And I'm going to jump back into it. Swing trade it again. Um, they retrofit uh, commercial vehicles. Sim uh, you know, like the bigger pickup trucks for like hot shot drivers and things of that nature. F-350s, F-250s. And these trucks can be used for an array of commercial things. Uh, you got hot shot delivery. You got, you know, people using them for lawn services and, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's kind of similar to Hylion, doing a lot better than Hylion. It had a nice run up last week, almost 60%. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be a nice, nice, profitable uh, company. I like the, um, I like the, uh, fundamentals of this company is what i'm trying to say and it has a, like a it's electrical drive systems increase fuel economy and reduce carbon dioxide emissions uh, by like 60 percent so definitely something that's going to make money then we have lee auto this is something i've been swing trading haven't done well on it so i'm gonna try it again this this month um i just bought some the other day i bought some more uh here shortly and this is an EV company as well. Nine analysts got a 78% buy rating. Uh, they killed EPS in quarter three. Uh, and this is a K, uh, automated company out of the Cayman uh, Islands. And of course they do smart electric SUV vehicles. So we'll see what happens with this one. It is headquartered out in uh, Beijing. So EV is a big trend. Uh, you know, I already own you know tesla the neos uh lower town motors uh you know all the good um evs i'm already into them so i want to jump into lee auto as well see if i can't swing trade it and uh recover from what i've lost from this trade then back to the portfolio it's up 954 up 26 percent uh bitcoin at this point's up 134 dollars 123 percent uh cash app Started at 316, now it's up 355, 1355. Matter of fact, I need to go. Sorry about that. As you see, now it's up to 1408. We'll go into eToro and look at the Bitcoin as well. If it loads up. Had to get that real quick, guys. Etoro is up 111, 52%. Bitcoin is on a run. Uh, then there's, these are the screenshots I just took. So you guys just watched that live. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in, uh, jump off this video. Buy me about 11 stocks, 11 positions. I'll make a video on it real quick before I get back to work. And uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. If you want to follow my journey, uh, you know. Check out the tickets I'm buying, why I'm bullish on companies, why I'm bearish, uh, what's my thesis, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, you can also try out my investor strategy with less or more money than what I'm using. Um, if not, like I said, jump in, check out the signals, check out stock news, you can check out my gains. 
I'm not one of these, you know, millionaire investors with, you know, $500,000 accounts. You know, they're all pretty much under five grand each. Um, like I said, it's around twelve and a half thousand dollars. So you guys can follow me, watch me grow, and watch how you can turn a little bit of money into a whole lot of money over the course of time.